Okay, so you're looking to enter in a recipe that you might not be able to find on MyFitnessPal or you might not be able to use the scanner, then this video is for you. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to be able to track something and enter it into your MyFitnessPal so you can have it for the future. And all you have to do is a search by the name that you created. All you would need for this video is the total amount of grams of protein, fats, and carbs. After that, MyFitnessPal will do the rest. Enjoy the video. When it comes to adding in a recipe where you don't necessarily want to enter all of each ingredient separately every single time, but you know the protein, carbs, and grams of fat, then this is what you can do. So from your dashboard, we're gonna hit the more button on the bottom right. We're gonna go to recipes, meals, and foods. And then here you can see all the ones that I've created in the past. So we're going to create a recipe, but we're going to enter the ingredients manually. And I'm going to show you what to do from there. So let's use Neri's bars. Neri's bar. Okay. And then one bar is one serving. Okay. If you're doing multiple servings, you can do multiple servings, but I'd suggest just to do one serving and then change it from there. So if you're going to do like three bars, don't, you know, but you don't consistently do three bars, then just leave this as one and you can always change that in your diary. So then we're gonna hit next and then add ingredients. And what you're gonna search for first is protein, protein gram, okay? Now the second thing we're looking for, so there you can see it right here, it's the protein macros and it's got the green check mark. So that means that it's verified, okay? But I know that one gram of protein is four calories. So I'm gonna go in here and then Neri has sent me the grams of protein. So it's 10.3, oh, 10.3 grams of protein. There you go. So 10.3 grams of protein results in 41 calories. Okay, so then we go there. So the second is we go to the top over here and then we're gonna go into carbs, macros, or grams, whatever works. So there you go. So you got your carbs, green verified um so just go there and then the carbs is 31.4 so click on that save there you go 106 calories for 31.4 grams of carbs hit plus then the last but not least is fat macros or you can do fat grams whatever so there's this one up top it's not green verified but in this case, it doesn't really matter because it's not like I'm punching in an apple, right? So if like I'm looking for an apple, medium sized apple, then I would want the green verified because then all the grams, pro, uh, grams of protein, fats and carbs and fiber were entered into that like by scientists. So I would ideally, but when it comes to just punching in the macros, then it's, it's not as big of a deal. So let's try uh, fat uh, grams. Let's try that. There you go. So fat has the highest amount of calories per gram at nine. Did you guys see that? Protein and carbs are four, whereas fat is nine. That's why we always do less grams of fat than the other macros. So in this case, it's not too high in fat. It's 11, resulting in 100 in calories. Now, bonus tip, if you know the grams of fiber, but in this case, Neri doesn't know the grams of fiber, but let's say you wanna start adding things and you know the exact amount of fiber, well then you just do fiber and so fiber grams, okay? Make it a little bit more specific and there you go. So one gram of fiber is four calories and then it'll add that fiber in there for you into that recipe. But in this case, this is it right here, okay? So you can see that we've got it all set up. We're gonna hit next, just Double, double check that it's all right, right? And we're gonna hit save. So now this should be saved into my diary. So I can just simply go to add to my diary and then just select the meal. Okay, so let's enter it in for a snack. All right, so there it is my snack. Now, moving forward, when I go to add the food and I type in an Aries bar, all right? I hit plus, so as you can see, as you add more recipes, so I added it before, but I had the wrong macros. This is the proper recipe. I just hit the plus button. If you need to change it, right? Here it is here, right? 
So that's the wrong one I punched in. Here's the right one. Okay. Now, if we want to edit it, all we would do is go back to more, go back to recipes, and then here's the wrong one. Go and click on it. At the top right, you're going to see these little dots. And we have the option of either editing it, but in this case, I want to actually just delete the recipe so it's not in my history. And that's it. So there we have it. Even if you can't find the recipe or food item that you're looking for in MyFitnessPal and the bar code scanner just doesn't exist on things like Neri's Bar, then all you have to do is follow the formula that I gave to you today. And if you're looking for more recipes or nutrition coaching, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn.